Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. When Skift asked Hilton how it's updating its brand for a new era, it was expecting to hear mostly about color palettes and breakfast options but the company instead said workforce satisfaction was the most important factor. Senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill reports the company believes a happy workforce will help its 19 brands thrive. Hilton Chief Brand and Communications Officer Matthew Schuyler said his biggest accomplishment at the company has been improving its workplace culture. Schuyler cited independent rankings that listed Hilton one of the best and most diverse workplaces. He added Hilton engendered goodwill by creating a job board for workers who had been laid off during the pandemic. O'Neill writes Hilton has entered into partnerships with non-travel companies as part of its strategy to stay relevant with travelers. Hilton is adding at least one piece of Peloton fitness equipment to each of its U.S. properties, a collaboration Schuyler described as a strategic mashup. Next, Delta Airlines president Glenn Howenstein recently anointed his company South America's leading carrier. However, American Airlines believes that's not the case, reports contributor Ted Reed. Howenstein said at a J.P. Morgan investor conference that Delta's partnership with South America's largest airline, LATAM, had made it number one in the region. But American executive Jose Frieg responded that the Fort Worth, Texas-based carrier is actually South America's dominant airline, arguing it operates more flights to the continent than any other U.S. carrier. So what do the statistics reveal? A spokesperson at airline industry data company Sirium said Delta comes out on top in some areas while listing others that American prevails in. Finally, Bhutan's tourism recovery has taken a hit in part due to the high sustainable tourism fee it requires visitors to pay. So the country is now offering duty-free gold to lure tourists it's missing out on, especially from its biggest source market, India, reports Asia editor Pidan Domabutia. Bhutia writes the measure is largely geared towards travelers from India, where gold is considered an important part of the culture. Indian tourists had been allowed to enter Bhutan for free prior to 2020. Bhutia adds travel agents believe introducing the tourism fee for Indian citizens has deterred cost-conscious travelers from visiting. One Bhutan-based travel executive said the country has seen a roughly 50% drop in visitors from India from pre-COVID levels. However, Butia notes certain conditions must be met before travelers can obtain duty-free gold, including spending at least one night in a certified hotel. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com daily. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.